what's up my sin city crew i'm back again with another video you guys today you guys i'm out uh for a minute we're going to walmart so we just leaving walmart because they wouldn't let us bring yaya in so we're gonna try another walmart y'all and see what they say they get on my nerve with that but hey if that's their rules that's their rules gotta play by the rules Anyway, how's everybody doing today? Happy Saturday to everybody. Happy Saturday. Glad to see you here. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, so we're going to try another uh, Walmart. My hair didn't swell back up. I wet my hair down and it didn't swell back up, y'all. speak say hello everybody yeah hello everybody mm -hmm. yeah. so i feel a little better so i'm out i had to get out today y'all because yeah sitting in the house it's so depressing you know sitting in the house all day every day you walking around the house you know that's how i get my little exercise i get up and you know walk around the house and do the little things i need to do around the house but I be want to get out sometime, you know. Even though, you know, I know what's going on. We all know what's going on out here. But, I mean, can't be confined to the house all the time anyway, you know. Yeah, so. But I'm going to still keep my mask on. I'm going to still be safe. Whatever I, you know, do, I don't care. I'm going to be safe. You know, make sure my family's safe. And my daughter, and you whoever else around me, you know my kids get tired of me saying, "Uh, you got you? Did you have your mask on? You got your mask on?" They be like, "Mom, I'm finna come back up. Make sure you got your mask on." They probably get sick of me, but I'm just trying to keep myself safe and, you know, them safe as well. You know, I'm not. I don't mean no harm. I'm not trying to be mean or anything. I'm just trying to keep everybody safe. That's all. I've been doing this, you know. They get mad at me, especially uh, Danny. She said, Ma, I said, no. Did you have your mask on? Point blank. I don't want to hear nothing else. Did you have your mask on when you was out? Yeah, Ma. And so I called her. I have called her before. I FaceTimed her before. Tried to uh, catch her tail. Lying to me. But she was getting her nails done. <clears throat> One of her... Uh, uh, her husband friends own a nail shop so he do he does her nails so anyway i'd be like you be having your uh mask on around uh and don't nobody be there for him i say it doesn't matter you know because you don't know where he to be so i called her one day she was getting her nails done and i know I, I facetimed her she was getting her nails done and i was trying to catch her uh slipping you know but she had her mask on i said you ain't i said uh-huh i said what you do that mask on Threw that mask on when you seen me call she was like no nah, i told you i be wearing my mask i said okay now but i know they get tired of me saying it but it's only for their safety and mine and anybody else around them you know because you don't want to get nobody else sick you know i ain't lying even when i came from the hospital the doctor said well you didn't quarantine for 14 days you good i still wore a mask for like three four days after i got home because i didn't want to get my daughter you know why was i already you know I think he had got over his, but at the same token, I didn't know what was going on, you know? So I just wanted to keep everybody safe and uh, make sure, you know, we was doing what we need to do. But the doctor had already told me I was good, you know, because it had been over 14 days, really. Yep. So anyway, I know y'all probably tired of me talking about me and my sickness and what I'm going through, but this is my testimony. And I just, you know, I'm so happy to be here. You might hear me talking about this a lot more because I'm so glad to be here. You know, there's a lot of people had the same thing I had and didn't make it. So it's a blessing, you know. So y'all might hear me talk about it, you know, some more and some more, but I'm not going to run it in the ground, you know. We can find something else to talk about. I'm going to do other videos 
and uh, it, it ain't gonna always be about the COVID, you know. It's gonna be uh, other videos that I do. Yeah. So, but anyway, uh, we're gonna go to Walmart and uh, get a few things that we need at the house paper towels and stuff like that. You know how they go. Yep, we run out of paper towels quick because <laughs> we're using three, four quick paper towels at a time sometimes. You know. Yeah. A few things. I, I, I know that I said I was going to stop uh, using BC so much, but I done ran out, so I got to get a few of those. Just a few things that I got to get from home. Uh, and I'm gonna uh, fix some spaghetti and fish today for my husband because that's what he wants. So I'm gonna, uh, you know, cook that. What's wrong? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you said. I said, said yep. Oh, yeah. Catfish, mm -hmm. He got a taste for some catfish and spaghetti. So I'm gonna cook that today for him. And uh, that's what we're going to pick up as well. She checked my legs and my ankles and stuff. She said, you know, my ankles always be swollen. I got fluid on my ankles or whatever. But anyway, she was saying that my legs didn't look swollen. And if they start hurting, then give her a call or whatever. And then, uh, so I was telling her, you know, I, I'm still kind of uh, having like, when I, you know, I be, I be tired. And like when I get tired, I feel like I done ran around the building or whatever. So she told me to goggle with warm salt and water and do the steam sniff stuff she said continue to do that like three times a day uh continue to do the steam three times continue to do the uh goggle with the warm salt and water three times then she uh told me to buy some mucinex the mucinex er extended uh relief it's the extended relief so i got that and i feel a little better i've been feeling a little better since i've been doing it you know I've been feeling a lot better. I'm still having a little, you know, breathing issues and uh, I get tired and I have to sit down and catch my breath and stuff like that. But other than that, I'm, I think I'm doing pretty good. You know, I can say that. I thank God. I get a little coughing spell sometimes. I just had a coughing spell. I don't know what that was about, but I drink the thing of water. So I feel a little better. I was able to do a little video, you know. I can't do no video coughing and stuff, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what she was telling me to do. So maybe I can help somebody else that's going through what I'm going through. Um, goggle with warm salt and water three times a day. S do a sniff, uh, the sniff uh, with the lemon, uh, apple cider vinegar. Uh, what else I put in there? Lemon, apple cider vinegar, and water with it. Yeah. So I did the water, apple cider, apple cider vinegar, and the lemons, y'all. I cut them up and stuff like that. And that's what I've been sniffing on for the, uh, matter of fact, I, I got to make some today uh, for me and Walt. I've been making him do it as well, you know. I've been making you do it, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we've been doing that. And it's been, like I said, it's been helping a lot, lot. It's been helping a lot. Uh, so maybe you know I can help somebody that's going like I said that's going through the same thing and get you some Mucinex extended relief uh, the ER that's what it's called the extended relief uh, uh, 
you know, because it's gonna have ER on it. So my daughter said she had some mucinex, but it didn't have the extended relief. So I was telling her to try, you know, go get some of that because she's been congested lately. And that's what she, my doctor was telling me, it get that, you know, that cold out of your, your chest and stuff like that. So that's why I got some. And it's been doing pretty good. I can't complain. It's been really, really doing good. Yep. I'm out in these streets and these folks, you know, my nerve. They can't drive, y'all. These people really cannot drive. They get on my nerve non-driving people you don't know if they're gonna keep straight they won't turn a signal light on you know i don't know this hair and just swole all back up i like this hair i mean i like it but i don't like it because you have to wet it so much wet it and then my daughter was like get this little spray bottle and put some dove conditioner in some water it's supposed to uh, keep the waves you know and won't get so fat but it ain't working for me because I didn't did that and this some good hair but it don't seem to be I thought it was some good hair anyway yeah so they're gonna hit well, my, you don't wanna go to Kroger huh uh, we can go to Kroger it's the same thing in Kroger it's in Walmart you hear me I just gotta get me some VCs and and stuff like that. It shouldn't be hard to find all that. Ain't that right, y'all? Yeah, we're gonna go to this Kroger, y'all. Instead of going way down, going way down and uh, because I was gonna go to Olive Branch. I like Kroger, don't I like, let me say this and then you can talk. I, I like uh, Mississippi Walmarts. Now, what you finna say, man? Say Kroger don't be having the paper towel. They have, like they Walmart, might not have a sale man. or the price that you're looking for, but they got them. No. Yes, they, they ain't got the ones I mean. Well, we, we, you want to go to Sam's and get those? We can go to Sam's and get the paper towels and stuff. You know, I don't mind going. about this crow it'd be so crowded it'd be so so crowded is she gonna leave or no told me to walk before I got sick uh, my doctor uh, told me to walk at least 30 minutes a day for my uh, high cholesterol you know I've been taking my medicine for that too I almost forget I'm like oh I'm dealing with that this and everything else you know what I'm saying so can't forget about that what is this for the little clinic please oh okay. uh, yeah what about right there Yeah, I'm just you know, taking medication, y'all. But I'll be all right. By the grace of God, I'm going to be all right. God is good. Jesus Christ is good. And I thank him every day that I open my eyes. I have rough nights where I'm tossing and turning. But when I open my eyes in the morning, I, be, I thank him because he didn't have to keep me. You hear me? So he did. And I guess he got bigger plans for me. Take advantage of it and stay safe. And I hope everybody else stays safe out there. You know, like I said, I don't. I'm not trying to make this an everyday video about you know my problems and my issues. I'm just telling you what I went through, and you know, this is my testimony. You can't know until you walk in my shoes. You don't know what I went through. So um, we all have uh, opinions. But, like I say, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Nobody. Because don't nobody deserve to be sick. And I, I have supporters that inbox me and say, uh, you know, what they're going through or their family is going through, have COVID and in the hospital on breathing machines. And, you know, this, that, and other. So, my prayers go out to uh, all the families that's uh, 
in crisis right now. Um, and the only thing I can tell people is to pray. Pray hard and be sincere in your prayers because Jehovah God knows everything. And until then, um, I guess I'll see you on the next video, you guys.